Hello and welcome back. Guys, we just finished with a heck of a day flounder fishing and the boat needs cleaning up pretty bad. Uh, we did the outside last night, but I waited until this morning to hit it with the Better Boat Deck Cleaner. Better Boat has sponsored this video and is a sponsor of the channel and um, we're having a good time using the products. It's really helping us keep the boat better. This is an 18 year old boat, actually 19 years old now, and it looks great because we take care of it. If you want your boat to last, take care of it with good products like the Better Boat makes. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. All right, so let me show you what this deck looks like now. This is going to be our before picture. As you can see, it's pretty grungy. This thing, we kept it clean yesterday as best we could with the brush when Flounder would come on board. But lots of feet, lots of fish hitting the deck, and it's just dirty. So we need to get this thing all cleaned up. Even the motor box where the cooler sat got some junk underneath of it. And we're going to use the Better Boat Deck Cleaner and their brush and pole to make this job go a whole lot easier. This is what the walk around part looks like up front after a day of fishing. Plenty of sea lettuce, footy prints, and all kinds of stuff on here. Hand prints from the sunscreen. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. So we're going to clean all this thing up see how good this stuff does all righty and again crazy as this might sound I actually read the instructions on the bottle and it says to wet the deck down real good first so we're going to do that all right the instructions say to put this on your deck and let it sit for two or three minutes I'm not going to use too much of it, but I'm going to get a good coat on everything. Alright, the instructions stay to spray it on the deck and let it sit for two or three minutes and then hit it with a deck brush. Now the fun part. Tell you what, this handle from the better boat, wow, really makes this job a lot easier. You don't have to bend over, it extends to six feet. This was great on the water yesterday, cleaning up the deck after the fish hit. Well, that's really doing a good job. If you guys have a boat with these non-slip surfaces, you know how much fun it is trying to keep it clean. Really did a good job of unsticking that seaweed too. brush really fits into these little crevices and height spots really well. And even fits into those gunnel walkways real good. Look at that. It gets all the way to the edges. Alright, and then just rinse everything off real good. Tell you what, this has done such a good job. I'm gonna have to wait until the sun gets a little higher so you guys can actually see how good a job this did. All right, now that the sun's up a little higher, have a look at this deck and look what this deck cleaner did for us. Move this around to the non shattery part. Look at how clean that looks now. Remember how grungy that was before? How about that motor box? Remember how grungy that was? And that wasn't near as bad as this floor was. And it leaves a really nice non-stick coating on the surface. Look at those gunnels. Remember how nasty all this was? That looks fantastic. So there you go. The better boat pole collapses so it'll fit in your rod holders under the gunnel of the boat, which is very handy. Just like that 
and the deck cleaner did a fantastic job as you saw so check out thebetterboat.com there's a link in the description below this stuff did a fantastic job on this deck hit that subscribe button don't forget the thumbs up like button and the bell icon so you don't miss any videos coming up we'll see you next time